Hi, and I want to say thank you to Vanessa for the question this morning uh, where people are saying to her, oh, look, I don't need a, a doula. The midwives are going to help me. My partner's going to help me. So that's all adequate. Uh, no, I don't want to, you know, pay for a doula. And uh, that sort of response will happen perhaps when we step forward and offer our services Hi, I'm Julie. I'm a doula. I can see that you're pregnant. Would you like me to be your doula? And because maybe we've been a fraction too forward and enthusiastic, gosh, I'm guilty of that, that's for sure, then uh, that might trigger a barrier in the selling process. So it's probably best to ask somebody else. Let's say we're at a party and uh, somebody is standing next to us, we've never met them before, or maybe we've seen them a few times, we don't know them very well, and so we want to strike up a conversation. And always in the back of your mind is a little bit of networking, some call it hustling, but um, I'm a little bit careful of that. But anyway, so what you want to do is get to know other people around you, and you want them to get to know you, and you want them to get to like you, and trust you, and understand you. So let's say there's somebody not far away, and okay, they're pregnant. And so you have a chat to them and you say, hi, how are you going? You look pretty comfortable. Uh, or do you want me to grab you a chair? Uh, how are you going for water? Would you like me to top up your water? Uh, and then maybe just say, you, you do look fabulous. You look really lovely and radiant. So compliment first. And then uh, maybe compare a little bit with your pregnancy. Say, so how many weeks are you now? Oh, 30, okay. Or well, you look a little bit more compact than I did at that stage. Uh, or uh, you, you look more comfortable than I did at that stage. So keeping it a very positive thing. And then asking them, so what do you do for work? And let them talk about that and show some interest. And then hopefully they'll reciprocate and say, so what do you do for work? And if they don't reciprocate and you're pretty keen to lean on in on this, then you could say, oh, that's very different to my work. Or, oh, that's quite similar to my work. Oh, you're in the caring profession too. Oh, you're, you're aligned with health as well. Okay. And that will lead them to say, so what do you do? And you can say, well, I'm a doula. That's a birth doula. And I go to births and I help women and their partners to have the sort of birth that they'd like to have. Because in this day and age, especially after COVID, uh, we've got a lack of midwives in the hospital. And I mean, we have for a long time, but we've got a lack of midwives. And although a lot of people think, oh, you know, I've got a whole team of midwives around me, like you see on Hollywood, you know that. Uh, and of course, that's not the case. Like the standard um, uh, staffing issues uh, for all uh, hospitals, public and private around Australia, is one midwife to three labouring women. And uh, yeah, so anyway, doulas are becoming a lot more popular. Um, more and more people are realising, you know, just how important or helpful doulas can be. And, and where women would prefer to have a normal birth, then they have a tendency to get a doula. Yeah, so it's huge in the States. Oh, my God. And it's huge in the UK. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to say hi to you and, and uh, let me know if you want me to grab you um, a steak from the barbecue. Uh, yeah, so if you, um, if you uh, need any help with anything and you want me to grab you a chair or anything, just sing out and I'll give you a hand. That would probably be a great way of doing it. Otherwise, in a casual situation and you're not talking to a, a pregnant woman, it could be anybody. And you could, uh, if you've just been to a birth, birth in the last, say, three to six months, you could have a situation where they say to you, so what do you do for work? It's just a general conversation. And you say, oh, I go to births. I'm a doula. I'm a birth doula and I attend births. It's my job. Um, I run my own business and I, uh, I've got a website, etc. And, uh, and, and then they might say, oh, you go to births. It's, it's common that people might say something negative or in my case, I actually find that it's more common that people go, do you do that? Do you? My God, that is such a great job. Do you really love your job? Yeah, you obviously do. And, and, and a lot of people are like, that is, that's amazing the way that you help people. So generally, like 80, 90% of the time, I get a very positive response. So uh, expect positive. Don't expect negative. Don't go looking for that. 
expect that people will be um, amazed of what a giving, kind, caring person you are and always put it across that way. So uh, they may say, um, look, do you have a business card? Because my niece is pregnant and she might be interested. Always have a business card ready. Uh, if I don't have a business card, I've always got a pen in my handbag and I can stick my hand in there pretty quick and I usually get a pen pretty fast. Uh, or I just say my name, Julie Clark, and it's .com.au at the end of it. Uh, so there's a, a few different ways, but try to always be at the ready uh, to promote yourself or at least let people know how they can get a hold of you again uh, the next time they want to get a hold of you. And always be enthusiastic about your job and if you've been to a birth just recently say well actually I was at a birth just recently blah 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 gorgeous little baby boy oh my god he was lovely so healthy and the mum was thrilled the dad was thrilled and you know it was just fantastic it's, it's such a great experience going to births I love it I absolutely love it and that way they will pin you in their mind with positive healthy uh, enthusiastic and somebody who's a helper. And a lot of people, when they meet somebody, they go, oh, I wonder who you could help. I wonder who I know that I could refer to you. And that's how you get known and just talk to everybody, even just in the Woolworths checkout lineup. Yeah, and, and just smile at all pregnant women and, and nod to them and just be super positive to everybody and be at the ready. Listen, for everybody... Coles, every Coles, and I'm pretty sure every Woolworths, most supermarkets have actually got a notice board uh, right near where all the registers are. And you can go and pin your card up there. Uh, make sure it says birth doula really clearly. and uh, Or put up a, a brochure of some sort. Uh, not too big. If it's too big, then mm, it doesn't last long. Make it bright as well. Uh, but just have a look out for that. All notice boards around the place. Put up something that might be either at least a business card or a, maybe four times bigger than a standard business card and let me know how you go. I'll be delighted to hear. Okay.